Now we are going to start with a new topic that is the amines. See, what is the amine? So first thing you should know that what uh, we know that it is a functional group. As you all are familiar, that amine is a functional group. But what is the formula for the amine? It is NH2. What is the formula for the amine? It is NH2. And you know that too, like uh, what are actually if we uh, keep like if we want to study about amines. So we should know that this as we know that this group cannot be present alone. It is present to some alkyl or sub uh, aryl group. So what we, what we uh, like how we obtain them. See, so how the amines are produced or what are amines actually? They are alkyl or aryl derivatives of ammonia. That is, they are alkyl or aryl derivatives of ammonia. That means, as we know that we have ammonia is NH3. So, when one of the H, minimum one of the H is replaced by an alkyl group, right? That means NR or it is replaced by an aryl group, which is AR. Then we get the derivative of uh, this thing, uh, uh, this thing ammonia is called as amines. So, what are amines actually? They are alkyl or aryl derivatives of ammonia, which is obtained by replacing one or more than one H of ammonia by alkyl or aryl group. For example, suppose we have ammonia as this, right? So, suppose I add alkyl group to it. So, when alkyl group is added, the one of the H is replaced by an alkyl group and what do we get? We get RnH2. So, this is called as amine, right? So, as it has only one R, so it is again, uh, it is uh, called, it is called as amine, but it may have two uh, alkyl groups by means the two replacement of H also can also take place. For example, we have ammonia, if I add two R, then two H will get liberated and what we will get, we will get R, NH, R. So, here you can see that 2H are being replaced by an alkyl group. So, like this you can add 3 R's also. Suppose you have ammonia and you have you add 3 alkyl groups to it. So, N will be attached to 3 alkyl groups. So, anything can happen actually. But now uh, you cannot obtain uh, you can say more uh, you can, uh, this thing the derivative. As we know that it has only 3 H and you have already replaced 3 H with 3 alkyl group. So, these all are called as amines. So, here what you have seen that H is being replaced by the alkyl group. The same thing can happen with the aryl group also. That means you can uh, also exchange the H with an aryl group also. Suppose this is ammonia in H3 and what do you do is you add aryl group to it, any aryl group. So what happened H is being replaced by that and what you get? You get NH2 means a benzene ring with NH2. Here one H is being replaced by an aryl group. Similarly, it may happen that one more H get replaced. So if one more H will get replaced, then the formula will be something like this. like this it will be like this right and it may happen that it may have three aryl groups then it is like this right it is something like this so that means you can the easy thing is that the easy explanation about this is that that you can actually replace the H by an alkyl group or an aryl group. They, it, they, it may contain one, two or three alkyl groups or it may contain one, two or three aryl groups also. But the common thing is that that what is formed the amine is formed. So I think that it is clear that is what is amine. Amine is actually a derivative of ammonia when the ammonia H, uh, H of the ammonia is being replaced by an alkyl or aryl group. So this is how you can obtain the different uh, you can say amines. Now if we talk about its importance that where the amines are used actually. So amines actually serve very great importance. They are constituents of proteins, vitamins etc. They are also present in polymers, drugs, synthetic stuff. So they are uh, present, you can say they have a wide scope. They are present in almost, you can say, uh, they have been used in almost every industry. So this is what is an importance. 
So if we uh, study about the structure that what kind of hybridization uh, does the uh, this thing this uh, amine actually possess. So we have th seen that it is sp3 hybridized. It is sp3 hybridized but the geometry is not tetrahedral because due to presence of lone pair the geometry actually get distort and what kind of geometry it is having a special case of uh, tetrahedral that is a pyramidal. We know that pyramidal is a special case of tetrahedral geometry when a central atom bears a lone pair. Due to presence of, uh, due to lone pair and bone pair repulsion, the geometry get distorted and it becomes a pyramidal. What is the structure? It's something like that. So it is N, H, H and this is the methyl group. So as uh, you can see that otherwise the angle is 109.5 in tetrahedral. But here the angle between this is being reduced to 106 degree. And if we talk about the bond length, like if we draw, draw a structure of ammonia, then it is like this. Sorry, it is like this, right. So uh, what happened actually here the bond length was uh, something different, but here the bond length is 147 picometer. That means the bond length is slightly longer than the NH bond and the angle gets reduced from 109.5 to 106 just due to the presence of the lone pair. And if you talk about hybridization, so you should know that it is sp3 hybridized. So this is what is a, a means that uh, the structure if you talk about. Now, moving on to the classification that how we can classify the amines. So, depending upon the number of alkyl or aryl groups attached, depending upon the number of alkyl or aryl group attached, the amines are called as primary, secondary and tertiary amines. Like if uh, like we have NH2 uh, and here is one alkyl group. So as you can see that one H is being replaced by uh, the alkyl group, then it is one degree. It may happen that uh, it is joined with two alkyl groups. So it is two degree. And it may happen that it may joined with three R's, then it is three degree. So it can be primary, secondary or tertiary just depending upon the number of alkyls and aryl groups are present. If one alkyl group is present, that means one H is being replaced by the alkyl group, it is one degree, that is primary. If two alkyl groups are attached, it is two degree. If three, then it is three degree. Similarly, if we talk about the aryl group also. If one H is replaced by one aryl group, it is one degree. If it is replaced, uh, the two H is being replaced by two aryl groups, it is two degree. And if uh, three H is being replaced by three aryl groups, then it becomes 3 degree. So just depending upon the number of alkyl and the aryl groups, actually you can classify the amines as primary, secondary or tertiary amines. Now, depending upon the type of group attached, depending upon the number, type of group attached, that what kind of group is attached, the amines is being classified into aryl amines, alkyl amines and aryl alkyl amines. So if you talk about aryl amines, it is cleared that the with amines, the aryl group is present. So like for an example, we have this is an aryl group and this is a amine. One H is being replaced by an aryl group. And you know that what is the common name for it? It is aniline. It is aniline. So it may happen that it may have more than one aryl group. So suppose two are there. It is called as benzyl amine, dibenzyl I mean, because two benzene rings up there. So aryl amines, I think in a simple language, you know that it is just when the aryl group is present with the amine, then it is it belongs to a category of aryl amines. And if the H is being replaced by an alkyl group, that means an R, it becomes alkyl amines, like CH3NH2, two alkyl groups are present. So whenever the alkyl groups uh, replaces the H atom, whether one, two or three alkyl groups are present, it belongs to a category of alkyl amines. And third we have aryl alkyl amines, that means the both things are present. Here the one H uh, you can say that uh, uh, what is there, uh, here what we have is we have an aryl group also, we have an alkyl group also and we have amine also. So that means amine is not directly attached to a benzene ring to a aryl group, it is attached to a side chain. So this is a aryl group. This is a side chain and a side chain is actually replacing one of the H. So this is called as aryl alkyl amines. 
So this is what is a basic introduction of amines. I think you got it. That what is amine, how you can obtain the derivatives of ammonia by replacing with alkyl or aryl groups. What is its importance? What is the hybridization of N in this case? And what kind of, uh, what types of amines do you have depending upon number of alkyl and aryl groups and depending upon the type of alkyl and aryl groups. So this is what is a basic introduction. Now we are going to start with the preparation of amines.